Hello everybody, this is Jamini and today I'm going to show you how to pamper your mom on Mother's Day by giving her a nice manicure from all the ingredients from her kitchen cupboard. What I've done is I've bought a little manicure kit from Boots, only cost me five pounds, so that's a nice present for her and say mom come. This morning I did your breakfast, now I'm going to do your nice manicure. You know what moms are like. They're always doing stuff for us, washing up, cleaning, and their hands need pampering. So first thing I'm going to do is um, file all the nails. Obviously ask her what length she wants. And if she doesn't want any length, just cut them for her. Uh, make sure that um, you sort of start from one end to the other end and um, just try and um, be consistent to see that all the um, the length of the nails are the same. What I've done now is I've got some water and I've squirt some um, wash, you know, moisturizing hand wash and a bit of uh, a few drops of lemon juice. Lemon juice is very good uh, for nails. Uh, it's very hydrating. So now I'm going to soak the hand in in the water for about five minutes. Now towel dry the hands and um, now I'm going to use uh, a hand cream um, apply it onto the edge of the nail plate quite near the cuticle area and uh, massage it in because uh, at the end where the cuticles are is your nail matrix is your germinating matrix where from where your nails grow so it's nice to massage it there it just uh, makes your you know when your nail grows it's more healthy I'm gonna put the cuticles back with the orange stick it's a black stick that you'll find it in the manicure set and um, what you do is you push them back so that uh, when your nails are growing obviously from the germinating matrix sometimes your skin gets adhere on to your nail plate and that's where you start getting tears and everything so gently push them back make sure that the nails are moisturized if you need some more of the hand cream just apply a bit more now with the other end of the orange stick i'm just going to remove some of the what we call is what happens is that uh, the nails are growing and there's some dead cells there just like the skin it gets dry um, so what I'm doing is just removing all the dead cells so that the nail looks nice and healthy just uh, use the nail the end of the nail filer just use it to remove all the dirt from the sides and under the nail uh, the free edge of the nail and it just uh, makes them look nice and neat and not so hard worked. Just gonna make sure that all the the nails are nice and neat. What I'm doing now is I'm preparing a scrub. So I'll put some sugar, uh, some two teaspoons of olive oil. and a few drops of uh, lemon juice. Remember, lemon juice is very hydrating on your nails. I'm gonna mix it and apply it on the hand. And I'm just gonna scrub it all in, gently, be gentle. And um, make sure that you do it all over the hand. Also, don't forget the in between the finger area because it gets quite dry and flaky. So just scrub it in gently. And it feels quite good when it's done. You can also massage it into the cuticle area. Now wash the hands in lukewarm water. The towel dry again. <laughs> I'm 
Now I'm going to massage the hands and uh, again I'm using the hand cream, my mom's hand, well your mom's hand cream and you try and massage the whole hand also if you can do in between the two fingers area that's the hollow area of your hand and I remember my late mom I used to massage her hands for hours and hours and she used to love it when I used to visit her in London apparently she used to stay there and I used to spend hours and hours doing this and having a chit chat with her see each finger has been massaged properly and you can turn the hand over and do some scissor actions here and then rub it in by massaging it is you increasing the blood flow onto your hand and your nails and it's good for you superficially it makes your skin hydrated and your nail gets a good supply of blood and I'm just gonna cause a, a create a do a bit of a rotation of the hand and then wipe it all off well not wipe it really but I'll massage all the product into the into the hand you know what moms are like they don't like uh, they're very apprehensive about using salon products or products from the supermarkets so this is like products from her own kitchen she'll have more faith in it so now i'm gonna make a mask what i've done is i'm gonna two teaspoons of gram flour put some yogurt in it and i'm gonna mix it first so it doesn't get lumpy you know with the besan flour can sometimes get it can get lumps and it's very hard to sort of create a paste so now i'm gonna add the lemon juice a bit of cinnamon powder turmeric powder and mix it well and now i'm going to apply it on the whole of the hand make sure you don't miss any areas in between Don't forget the palm of the hand as well. And it's all dried up. Make sure it's really dries up and just rub the whole of the mask. Um, my circular movements now we're now going back to the ingredients cinnamon powder is very energizing cleansing anti-inflammatory it's very good for you lemon juice refreshing uplifting good for brittle nails now we're gonna thoroughly wash it again lukewarm water Remember, don't ask your mom to get up and wash your hands in the sink. You're, you're pampering her. Let her sit and relax and you do all the hard work. Again, towel dry properly. Now again, I'm going to moisturize the hand. Now let's compare the two hands. Can you see the difference? It's more radiant, more hydrated, exfoliated remember your skin renews once a month every 28 days you get flaky cornified layer on the top so by putting a scrub on it you're exfoliating it letting it breathe 
And now we're going to paint the nails. Before we paint the nails, obviously, we're going to wipe it um, oh, so that there's no grease on the nail plate. And then apply a top coat first. It just protects your nail. It doesn't get stained. So don't always, always apply a top coat, especially when you're going to use a, a dark uh, nail varnish. You know what mums are like? They like dark colours. So first apply very light strokes. What I do is I always um, apply a stroke in the middle of the nail first, then on the right hand side and then on the left hand side. Very thinly, first application, so it dries quickly. So when you apply a second application, it doesn't look thick and smudged. Now you do very gently, slowly, so that you don't miss any areas on the sides. Try and do it away from the cuticles. If you flood the cuticle, it just doesn't look right. And sometimes it just flakes it off from that area. If you offer a flood, you can always use your own nail and just knead to knead it up. Now apply a top coat, just uh, protects the nail. The varnish that you applied and gives us a finish, a nice shiny finish. Always apply a top coat, it just finishes up properly. Sometimes when you're turning the hand and if one of the fingers gets smudged, just apply a bit of uh, top coat on it. Again, it contains acetone, so it will make it go smooth. And you're done. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.